Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your overwhelming comments, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, like big time. You have no idea, actually. Thank you, my subscribers, for always coming back to check on me. I feel like today I have a sore throat a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe because I've been sitting in the cold. When I was in the village, uh, in the funeral, um, after the burial, we went to sit over there. We were talking and catching up with a lot of my cousins. And, you know, it's just a village thing that we usually do in our village. Thank you so much, guys, for the condolences, messages that I got. You have no idea what it really meant to me. I, I felt loved, you know, like, yeah. For real, I felt loved. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This cousin of mine was a friend to me on a personal note. Let me say that. You know, like in my village when we were growing up, uh, this is the things that we used to do. Uh, we used to have a lot of activities, especially in our Sunday school church. We used to have a lot of activities. We used to uh, recite Bible verses, together we used to compete on that we used to sing christmas carols easter songs and those kind of things we used to go around in the villages singing and dancing a group of kids many of us like i don't know hundreds of us we used to go together you know in the villages singing and dancing collecting gifts from each and every home you know this was one of the activities that we used to do and then we bring it them in our church and then we will share it among our ourselves maybe we could get some beans some maize some you know everything even the money and then we bring it in the church and then our Sunday school teacher will prepare us some big meal you know like we'll choose a day when we'll just go to eat and play around in our church you know it used to be so 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 nice ah this cousin of mine was one of us and we know ourselves we even have our whatsapp group so we are always like all together there so when we lost one of our own we felt like we have really lost something and he's a big man uh he must be he must be in his 40s now and he's married, he has kids, you know, so it was a really, really, you know, I felt like I've really lost someone who's close to me. So when you send those messages, guys, I feel so loved, like seriously, you have no idea. Thank you so much, my subscribers, lazy gang members. I missed you. I missed you. And I'm like, hey, guys, what's up? What's up? what's happening we are back on the table my new subscribers you are always welcome feel free to always talk and analyze with us criticize with us you know agree and disagree together like that okay thank you guys for those messages about my home i didn't know that i have a beautiful home you know for me it's just like a normal village home just like everyone else Thank you so much, guys. So coming back on the table, when I arrived yesterday, I was feeling so tired because I had not slept well and the cold and the sore throat and everything. <clears throat> I just came in and I got messages, lots of messages. People are telling me, Carol, see, this is happening. See, this is happening. Many links have been sent. I'm still checking on these links to see what's up. What am I supposed to put on the table today? And yeah. Let me just start with this community post that Maro pulled on this channel, uh, on his channel. I actually want to talk about this um, community post. Um, like, okay, let me read it first because it seems like I'm going so fast, right? I don't want to go fast. Let me take my time because I really want to talk about this community post, guys. Hmm. Let's read it together. I am Marwa. Tell at Choice TV to contact me if need be. I will support her and personally talk to the police in Germany or less send them an email. I have lost brand deals in family. I have lost brand deals. My family has gone through a lot from bully, from the bully in Germany. 
you can see everything on her channel. I want to support her, Choice TV. And we shall open a GoFundMe for a lawyer if need be. We must stand strong against cyberbullying, which can lead to untold and imaginable losses. Here is my email. I am marwak at gmail.com. I am marwa. I'm looking at this whole thing and I'm like, oh my goodness, what a mess. What a mess. First of all, Marwa, you are a man. And I'm very much ashamed to learn that you are a Kenyan man. Our Kenyan men don't behave like this. Guys, you have seen my brothers, right? With all those multi-million buildings in the village. In the village. I'll be showing you around a lot of things about me so that every time I sit here and talk about men, Kenyan men, you will understand where I'm coming from. These people, they also have some other multi-million buildings where they stay in their towns. At least when I'm talking about my brothers, I'm talking about every one of them having two homes where they stay in their towns and back in the village. If they build those kind of houses in the village, what about the ones that they build out there? So let, let me come back to Marwa. Mara, you are a Kenyan man, but you're not behaving like one because I've been with Kenyan men. My dad is still alive. He's a Kenyan man. My brothers, three of them, they're Kenyan men. I've lived with them. I've grown up with them. This is not how you handle things. First of all, this issue is women's issue. Why are you involved in women's issue? Why? Why are you getting involved in women's issues, this is the most shameful thing I've come across. Women are fighting their own fight. See Marwa coming in, saying the things that he's saying. What is this that Marwa is saying? You know, I'm looking at the content of the, everything that is pulling out here and I'm like, are you really okay in your head? And by the way, guys, I've been in the village. I really don't know if Marwa went to Antarctica. I've not been checking on him. <laughs> but I know that you guys, you can give me those details. Did he go to Antarctica? Did he get the sponsor, the rich sponsor, to go to Antarctica? Eh? Okay. I know I'll get the, I, I know I'll get the answers that I deserve in the comments <laughs> section. But right now, I'm just wondering. Looking at the men, I have cousins, like the one I lost, a very humble man. You know, I have men around me. I have a son. I have a man with me. I have my brothers. I have my, I have men around me. I can't understand why Maro is behaving the way he's behaving. This is not how a man behaves, especially when it comes to dealing with the issues that women are with. These women, they are all in Germany. They are doing their thing. Another one calls himself a uh, positive. I'm doing positive stuff. Le, 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 le. They are fighting their own things. Where is Marwa coming in to start fighting in between these women, guys? You know, this one thing that really shocked me. Eh? As our Koko Mama said, it shocktalized me. I'm like, hey, boy, what's this? What are you doing? I mean... How is this issue your business? You are talking about cyberbullying. Which one is cyberbullying? Marwa, you are misleading people. Reaction. If this was cyberbullying, you have reported reactors. Especially that report that you did on Modesta's lifestyle channel. It never went down. What does that tell you? If it was cyberbullying, it would have gone down long time ago. My channel has been reported. Black Beauty's channel has been reported. So many times people come in the comment section telling us that we have reported your channel. It's going down in a minute. Every time they come out telling us this thing. If this thing that we are doing was cyberbullying, like honestly, our channels would have not been on this space. 
So why are you coming out trying to mislead the people? Marwa. I know you are watching reactors like all the time. The other side, you said that you don't watch them. You put their notifications off, blah, blah, blah. But you're still on the street talking about reactors. You know these people are reactors. And these are the kind of people that are watching your videos. They pick and analyze everything that you have said and done on this, on this platform. It's all pulled out with all the receipts. And the receipts always come from your videos. So why are you lying to yourself? I don't know how to call this video. Maybe I should call it a letter to Ayamarwa. <laughs> I've, I've seen people doing a letter to so-and-so, a letter to so-and-so. They say that we copy each other, right? Yeah, I can copy that. Yeah, I think let me put my title there. A letter to Ayamarwa. Ayamarwa, why are you lying to yourself? And, and end up lying to your subscribers. Why are you doing that? You know very well that reactors are bringing out the truth about you, Marwa, our public figure. The moment you came up on that platform, that is the moment you should have known that, you know, success always comes with its packages, guys. This is the package that comes up with a public figure or a celebrity, as he calls himself. I'm just wondering, why is it like every time when reactors are reacting also on the streets about Marwa's videos and Dimwango's videos, especially Dimwango's videos, Marwa will always come out attacking female reactors. Marwa will never attack men who are reacting. He will never directly attack them. But he's always attacking the female reactors. If you have seen those videos that he has come out, calling female reactors witches, calling lazy, calling them all types of names. You know? Female reactors. This is where Marwa lies. Because he feels like these are people who are weak or maybe almost next to his level so he can come out and start attacking them. My question is, why can't you also address the male reactors who are also reacting to you? Why is it that you are always attacking the women, like all the time, on this street? That's an issue that I have come with. And I need Marwa also to address this. I know Marwa doesn't address anything. He said in his videos that he, he doesn't like, you know, to get brands because the brands will always force him to address the issues that crazy people always talk about or talk about him. Another thing Marwa talked about, he said that he has lost brand deals and also his family has gone through a lot from the bully in Germany. Was it not the other day that Marwa was telling us that he doesn't take deals because the deals always you know, ask him to explain a few things here and there and he doesn't want to explain, especially when reactors have talked about him, right? Now he's saying that it's this bully in German that has made him to lose deals. So which is which? Mara is always lying. And this is the thing that we are bringing out. Now, right now, we are reacting on his post that he has just pulled on the street. Why is he lying about everything? First of all, he has gone into this fight that he doesn't even understand where it came from, how it started and everything. Because the other lady insulted Black Beauty TV. Black Beauty TV took that issue to the police. So where is Marwa coming in? Why is Marwa saying that he's going to support this lady? And now listen to Marwa's, Marwa telling us how he's going to support this lady. Um, he says, I want to support her, Choice TV, and we shall open a GoFundMe for a lawyer if need be. <laughs> so, why a GoFundMe? Mara, you have the money. You get a lot of money from the streets. Why open a GoFundMe for this lady's lawyer? Why? Why get a GoFundMe for this lady? 
that's what thing that I'm asking. You have money. Why can't you just send money to this lady if you want? And also, why would you come on the street to start yapping about it? If you want to help someone on this thing, why can't you just get to her, talk to her, let her explain everything. If you want to help her or support her, support her in, in your own ways. Why would you come here on the street you know, to start talking about it. It shows that you are not serious about this. You just want to come out here and scare us. You know, like, we want to open a GoFundMe. We have seen so many GoFundMe's that you have done on this list that have never been successful. And if you are opening this GoFundMe, why would you open it on your email? Why can't you open it on her email so that she can be getting that money directly? I am Marwa. Is this a scam in the making? Is this a scam in the making? I can smell something here, guys. I can smell something that is very wrong here. So, guys, I'm just wondering. I just wanted to do this short video, you know, to ask Mara all these questions. Like, why go fund me? And why go fund me in your email? And why would you get into this fight? It was not your fight. And why will you get involved in women's fights? And then why are you bringing out this post out here publicly? I just want to share with you guys a few of the things that people wrote on this post. I mean, the, on the comment section, just a few that I picked that I thought that I should share with you. This person told Mara, Mara always commands someone else to do the dirty work. In the end, it backfires. Reporting Modesta to YouTube, he commanded other YouTubers to sub, to unsubscribe to it. But when he was kicked out of Ivan's house, who blew the whistle in favor of Marwa? The same Modesta. His team of army didn't even know what was happening. That is very true. His own subscribers did not understand what was happening with Marwa. Marwa was so quiet about it. Anyway, Devi also uses someone channel to fight Modesta, which is very true. The games people play, the fallout of Choice TV and Mara will be more interesting than his fallout with Ivan. Let him learn the same lesson on repeat. Mara never learns. Mara will never learn. He's doing the same mistakes like over and over and over again, like all the time. See, this is his own people who are always watching him. And they are over there telling him these things. Listen to this. This one says, if you want to support someone, use your money. That money will go in his and whoever's name and go find me account is in. Person says, if you want to support someone, use your money. Don't use go find me. <laughs> Listen to this. What brand wants someone to represent using the same jacket, the same shoe every single day of the year, year after year, especially when you can afford to buy more than one. If you bought the first one, if you bought the first one anyway, how has he really invested in that brand? If I was a brand, I would want to see all the things you liked of my brand. But now he's the one he's the one accusing reactors that that the reason for his failures. Can you imagine, guys? Hmm. Listen to this one. I do not understand why Marwa is involving himself in this drama. This is not his fight to fight. He is he is been very sexist because he and his brother has a problem with Modesta and Black Beauty as reactors. But what about the male reactors? They also cover that family but they don't go after the male reactors, only the female ones. I see it as being as being very sexist. He keep using YouTube for his own personal gains. It will be his downfall one day. Let him continue smartly. Great analysis. That's what this man said. 
This one says Marwa is a big girl. That is why he loves to get in the middle of women issues. <laughs> Even his sister D is more is more man than brother. Whoa. I was almost saying this thing the other day. I felt like D behaves more manly than Marwa. Is Marwa who's behaving more girlish, especially on these streets, competing with people. You have heard what these people said about Amara. These comments are not my own. They are publicly on these streets. People are talking about them. People are telling Marwa, get out of women's issues. Marwa, if you are watching, listen. This is not your fight. We don't even understand why you are getting into this fight. Get out of this place. You don't belong here. You are in Argentina. And you are even failing to raise money to go to Antarctica. Now you have diverted to come back here and start opening GoFundMe for someone. Why wouldn't you open that GoFundMe to get money to go to Antarctica? Why can't you use that energy to do something else instead of bringing it out here and start fighting with the women here on the streets? Are you a woman to start fighting with women here? What is it that is yours in this issue? This lady that is being talked about here. Do you, do you understand what she's doing? Like, are you sure he's for you? This lady is not even in Africa, guys. This lady is in Europe. He has been checking on these streets. As a content creator, you have to check and know where you get all these views and stuff. Who is this person that people are talking about? How you can go about it also when you're having your own channel so that you can divert and also start getting some views from it. Everyone who is doing positive or negative reaction on him, they're all using his name. That's one thing that Mara, you need to know. As much as they're attacking us that we are using your name, even the ones that are doing positive, they're using your name. It's the same, same name, Marwa, that we are all using here to get these views and revenue. And that's how it works here on the street. She's using your name. We are using your name. We are all in the same game. How sure are you that she's for you? What is it that she's going to do for you? She's only using your name to get whatever she's getting. Now she has gone personal to start fighting other reactors on YouTube. And that is what these girls are fighting for. Why are you so involved? And I repeat, this is not cyberbullying. This is a reaction. Everyone is pulling out what they are pulling out. This is a letter to Ayamara. Stop what you are doing. You are not a woman, you are a man. And continue looking for money to go to Antarctica. If you want to have a go fund me, do it for your own cause, for your own subscribers. Don't divert to come back here and start fighting with women. Go fund me is not going to work. In fact, you have just woken another fire on the streets. I feel like Mara has just lit in more fire here. I can see the chimneys becoming so black. The fire is on this street and we are coming up with more videos as the day goes by. Kindly um, help me to get this letter to Ayamara. Thank you so much for your love, guys. Thank you for your likes, comments, and support. Let's meet on the next one.